Hello everyone, we will continue the topic control break statements or events and in the previous videos we finished with the full coding part. Now in this video we will understand full flow in the debugging mode. So if any confusion is still there, it is very very important to understand in debugging and all all doubts will be cleared automatically. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint on the first query itself and we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. Parallelly, this data is opened also. I'm running the program. Suppose I will not pass any payment mode will run for all the payment groups. Extremely important understanding. If some doubt will be there, it will be clear. Now we are fetching data from order header table. I'm executing this query using F6 key. And you can see we have 10 records in the internal table. Do we have 10 records in the internal table? Yes, we have 10 records in the internal table. Internal table has two columns. What is first column? Payment mode. And what is second column? Total amount. As of now, data is not sorted. Data is not sorted based upon payment mode. We have C, D, N, then we have again C, then we have again D. So firstly, we will sort based upon payment mode. Now, if I will see the internal table, you can see our data is sorted based upon payment mode. In the next video, I will go for full explanation why, why sorting is must. So we sorted based upon payment mode. Now, this loop will continue how many times? 10 times this loop will continue. So now I will parallelly open the work area also. Now we will see. Firstly, I will go for F5. Now we are inside the loop, inside the loop. You can see side tab X is one. It means which record is going on now. First record is going on. What is at first? At first triggers for the first record of the internal table inside the loop. As of now, first record is going on. Yes. So at first will trigger and this see it is triggering automatically. We have not performed any action. First record came. So time has reached. It will trigger automatically. Just see currently I am on 22nd number line. Suppose I am doing F5 or F6. No problem. Suppose I'm doing F6. Have you seen? I'm inside, I'm in between this at first. Because this is true. This is true. It is our first, first record of the internal table. So it will simply, simply write this particular text. What is the text? The sum based upon payment mode is as follows. So this will trigger. So it will simply, simply display this. I'm doing F6. I'm doing F6. Now control came on to this particular control break event. What is control break event? At new payment mode, payment mode. What is at new? It will trigger for the first record of the group. Just see this internal table. It will trigger for the first record of the group having the same value for the specified field. Which field we specified as of now? Payment mode. Payment mode we specified. It triggers for the first record of the group. So we have this is one group. Is this the first record of the group? Is this the first record of the group? Yes, this is the first record of the group. So this at new will definitely trigger. 
So if this add new will trigger and have you seen it is displaying payment mode. What is the payment mode? C done. So as of now, but the output you got by using at first, we got this. The sum based upon payment mode is as follows. And by using at new, we got C. Parallelly, we will write the output also. Now I will come to next event. At end of payment mode. At end will trigger for the last record of the group having the same value. Just see these four records has the same value. But is this the last record of payment mode C? No. Currently, we are on first record. So, at end will never, never trigger. Just see. At end will never trigger and it will directly come to 32 line. Just see. It is directly on 32 line. Because our group has not ended. Yes. Now, it will come on to at last just see our internal table has 10 records. It means at last will trigger for the 10th record of the internal whenever the 10th record will come. So currently we are on first record. So at last will never, never trigger. So first iteration done. Now we will come on to second record. So now we will come on to second record. Just see what is the side tab x. Side tab x is 2. So this is the second record. This is the second record. Firstly, at first. At first will not trigger because at first is for the first record of the internal table and first record of the internal table already done. So at first will never trigger. Now we will come on to add new payment. Just see this internal table. Is this is this a new payment mode? No, this is not a new payment mode. This new payment mode was already covered at new triggers for the first record of the group and at new already triggered for this. And this is not a new payment mode. Payment mode C is already covered. So this will not trigger at new will not trigger now we are on at and just see is this a last record of payment mode c no currently we are on second record of payment mode c so at end will not trigger now we will come on to at last at last will not trigger because this is not the 10th iteration Currently, the second iteration is going on. Now, we will move on to next iteration. Now, we are on third record of the internal table. Third record. So, at first, at first will not trigger because currently we are on third record of internal table. Now, at new payment mode. Just see for the third record. Is this a new payment mode? No, payment mode C is already, already we covered. So at new will not trigger. Now we will come on to at end. Just see, is this the last record of payment mode C? No, this is not the last record of payment mode C. So at end will not trigger. Now at last will also not trigger because it is not the last record of internal table. Now we will come on to fourth record. This will be important. At first, this is the fourth record. At first will never trigger because this is the fourth record of the internal table. Now at new, at new will also not trigger. Because this is not the first record of payment mode C. This is the last record of payment mode C. So add new will not trigger. Now it will come on to add end. Add end of payment mode. Is this the last record of payment mode C? Yes, this is the last record of payment mode C. 
now you will clearly clearly understand how sum will work how sum will work now at and yes it will trigger done firstly i will show you up to this level it will make some it will make some of the numeric fields which are on the right hand side it will make some of numeric field which are on the right hand side of payment mode yes is this column is on the right hand side yes it will make some of all the records of a group this is the group this is the group we have four records in the group so it will make sum of 100 200 100 200 and the sum will be 600 whenever i will go for sum have you seen what is the result 600 and this 600 will be assigned to what if you see the definition of sum it will be assigned to corresponding component of work area is this assigned to the component of work area yes so 600 assigned to component of work area work area which column total amount and we are writing 600 so whenever we will write 600 so in front of c what will be the result 600 will proceed further it will give you more more clarity now at last will not trigger because this is not the last record of the internal table now loop will come for the fifth record of the internal table this is the fifth record of the internal table so at first will not trigger because this is not the first record of internal table at new payment mode just see is this the first record of a new payment mode yes is this the first record yes so add new will trigger add new will trigger so add new will trigger it will write the payment mode what is the payment mode d so it will simply simply write d now we will move on to next add and will not trigger because this is not the last record of D. Now, at last will not trigger because this is not the last record of the internal table. Now, we will move on to sixth record. This is our sixth record. For the sixth record, payment mode is D. At first will not trigger because this is not the first record of the internal table. Add new will also not trigger because this is not the first record of payment mode D. Now at end will also not trigger because this is not the last record of payment mode D. Now at last will also not trigger because this is not the last record of the internal table. Now we will move on to seventh record. Now for the seventh record, this is our seventh record. This is our seventh record. Now at first will not trigger because this is not the first record of internal table. At new will also not trigger because this is not a new payment mode. At end will also not trigger because this is not the last record of payment mode D. At last will also not trigger because this is not the last record of the internal table. Now we will come on to eighth record. This is our eighth record. So whenever eighth record will come, at first will not trigger. Yes, because this is not the first record of internal table. At new will also not trigger because this is not the new payment mode. Now at end will trigger yes at end will trigger have you seen at end triggered and currently i am on sum because this is the last record of payment mode d now sum will make sum based upon group key just see what is the group key as of now payment mode which value d d is the group key so it will make some of the column 
which is on the right hand side for all the records. So 300, 700, 1000, 1400. It is very important to understand because we are using the word current group key. What is current group key value? It is D. So it will make some of these four records only. It will not take the previous records. This is the main benefit. It is working on group. It is working on group. So it will make some. And what will be the sum? Just see as of now it is zero. Now you can see the sum is 1400. And is it assigned to work area total amount? Yes, it is assigned. So it is 1400 now. We are writing this. Now we will move on to add last will not trigger because this is not the last record of internal table. Now we will come on to ninth record. Ninth record. This is the ninth record. Add first. It will not trigger. Add new payment mode. Yes, add new will trigger because this is the first record of payment mode and payment mode and first record of the group. So yes, it will simply, simply print the payment mode and just see we have the payment mode and now at end it will not trigger because this is not the last record of payment mode and now at last will not trigger because this is not the last record of the internal table. Now we will move on to last iteration. What is our last iteration? 10th, 10th. At first, this is our 10th record. At last, at first will not trigger because it is the last iteration. It is not the first iteration. At new. This is not a new payment mode. So add new will not trigger. Yes, add end will trigger because this is the last record of payment mode N. And it will make some of the numeric fields which are on the right hand side. It will take all records of the group. It means it will take this also. It will take this also. 500 plus 500, 1000. It will make some. It will make some. And you can see what is the result now, 1000. Is it assigned to work area? Yes. And we are writing. So what it will do, it will simply, simply go for N, 1000. Now we'll come on to at last. Will at last trigger? Yes, because it is the last record of the internal table and it will simply simply display end of output and we will write end of output and yes all record processed done yes there is no further record and we have the output now is this the result we want Yes, this is the result we want. So this is extremely important because we understood each and everything in the deeper in more. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we understood the flow of each and every control break statement or event in the deeper in more. We'll continue the other parts in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.